MMTs. Today's date is 9.13 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And guess what? Day number two of 2011. Once again, Happy New Year's to everyone for 2011. We're going to talk about today the actual uh, MMTs that are daily in the market. So we're going to take a three minute and we're going to go through the info panel means a certain thing. And when you're trading these price failures here, when they start on a three minute, you're going to know how they drop those down, what the market maker is doing and how the levels are coming down. As these levels are coming down, they're coming down 25 pennies a teeny. So if you go down four teenies, that equals a dollar reversal right here. One of the things that the MMTs do, that's how they start to move with the public. But looking at a 15-minute chart, that's what this is now. So looking at the 15-minute chart, this 15-minute chart is each line that prices in the public model and the market maker model both for the people so this platform has it where the buyers and sellers are going to be made that means certain markets are already calculated there was a market made over here look bam now there's a market being made down here and that's what this is about we're going to talk about this left elbow gap down this was on uh, the, the the opening bell and it's called the SMF left elbow gap down okay so we'll take the closing price over here that was the closing price the previous day the left elbow to new MMTs is coming right down here to that teeny action line and then walking that dog walking the dog by seeing on the 15 minute bar right here in that info panel that when these things are ascending in value MMTs you know to be net long all the way up because nothing tells you to sell until you get right here and it says that the bid and ask ratio is 84 okay prior to that it was 74 in the info panel and you can see that closing half is plus or minus but when you're closing half above the previous bar that action and that buyer and that seller in, in that time frame is really moving at good levels because you're ascending all the way up this is the wholesale this is the market maker platform right here that's that right to that teeny well in this case it's a one eighth and that's 49 cents okay and so we can see here that when the trend made the high that when i go over here i can see how the the, the down there here down here in this time zone watch this line because when i scroll your your thing across there you can see the time change down at the bottom watch see there this is 15 minutes so i go to the next 15 minute so you got everything that's in there but when this got to the top you would have been selling out right in here and then as it broke half of the bar here this bar was 15 minute bar got weak and it started to close below it closes below it is a final print as it's falling through it you make your transaction when it closes below it it confirms it and you had a, dub, a, a double dime in here and you were breaking down half bars just like you went up half bars but now you reversed and so if i had 500 share block mmt block or and i went long i'd be selling a thousand in one print now i'm automatically short 500 and you can see the descending values there in the 15 minute that we're building and one of the key elements are going to be key elements are going to be that that three minute chart it takes five of these three minute bars to equal a 15 minute bar however once you start ascending up here on the three minute mmts and you start to come down and you can't close above those teeny lines because this is a teeny line here 116 to 25 pennies today that teeny line it's already got it all priced in man it's accurate nobody can be in denial of it 
I know that no MMTs are, but this is where you start seeing bigger diamond alerts. This one had three diamond alerts in a three minute price action. That means that there's a lot going on back here, as you know. And she would, that's everything that we have in your pricing controls. You know what they all mean. And in a market maker platform, you're working with this. You're working with everything. You got your three minute half bars here. And when you look at a three minute half bar, you'll always know to always go back and look at your, here's the 15 minute chart. When you're looking at a, a 15 minute bar, you're going to have different reads. So that's 596.27 right here on a 15 minute half bar. And that's really important. And he comes down and does that. But look at the weakness. Look at how long and depth to the left side that that was. That means MMTs at the left side ratios in your platform. The lines are prices where markets are made. Don't worry about what they mean other than that's where the public transaction is going to happen. And that's also where the floor trader of the exchanges, whether it's NYSE, NASDAQ, Amex, they have people that are buyers and sellers all day long. They're making their transactions within the public model as well. So basically the platform prices that in there. We're quite happy to let you know that when you slide a bid here at the high, and you're below the half bar and you can see the half bar right here it's 597.40 even gives you the time 10.45 so you're always looking here at that time stamp their 15 minute time stamp see next one was four o'clock there you go and guess what don't worry about this right here this will populate during live market hours but you already know how to use that so basically when you're to this side of the IR, if you only go up into the gauge to 25, you go up and it comes down. You go up and it comes down. That means that the move is weak. That's what that one means. If the trend ratio low keeps only moving up so much this way, but then starts to fall back, you know the move is still weak, MMTs, and that's what these diamond alerts are. And on the 15 minute chart, when you get a double diamond, that means a lot in price action. And you can see half bar, 595.23, tells you right there in your panel, plus or minus. If it's minus 56 cents, that's minus 0 0.56 ratio. That equals weakness in the movement, MMTs. That's exactly what it means. Now, when I come down here and I open up that, I can see the deterioration, the bid ratio. Your MM bid ratio is 0.33. Over here, it was 0.81. So when it started to go down in value, you still went a little bit lower down to the next teeny line. Until eventually, you, yes, you made price in here and you start to come up in the half bar right there. But this is the half bar that you would have to have closed above right here. That's this time frame right down here, 595. So when you had a 3.6, you didn't even get the 3.69. 3.69. That's a 12 with the 15 reversal bar. But listen, with the 3.6 was diminishing, so you rolled right back over half bar again, and the downtrend kept going. So that shallow 3.6 means that the public was cut off. There's no buyer there. Guess what? Market maker slides a bid, and you start teening and down again until you finally get a capitulation, uh, two teeny capitulation right here, three, a little more right to the teeny line, and you bounce right back up. That's called a market maker bid pop off the bottom and a sell down an ECN tape that way and you pop right back up. So look at the pop. Bam! And that's over a dollar pop right here. It will tell me here. Let's see how much that bar was worth. Um, it'll tell me right here. That bar was worth a dollar ninety two right here. The time frame was 345. The VO1 equals price of the whole move. A dollar ninety-two down and a dollar ninety-two up. And just that one right there, times two. That's strength. That's bid popping. That means that the IR over here, that gauge would have been throttling way over there, MMTs. And that's when you know you start making a 15-minute bottom reversal. And what gives it the power is the amount of one-eighths off the bottom 
is two equals 98 pennies and that's where the move starts and then it has to keep ascending in value and you will do quite well as being long right then and there. Now that we're back on the tape MMTs after talking to you off tape is that I gave you a lot more in depth than what I'm showing on the video because if people want to learn then they can simply come and take the free five day five day trial and see this going on in action because everything we do is live and we are the number one live skilled market maker which is different than the public model we're the only market maker school out here and that's how mechanics in these markets work within the exchange model versus the public model so it's been a pleasure um, just remember once again descending ratios are short okay left elbow left elbow walk the dog slide the bid down price action three minute left elbow double bottom elbow uh, price action when you ascend on a three minute at any level like this MMTs when you come down on that left elbow and you hit that teeny line and this bar here takes out that half bar and that left elbow but you got that power up off of there and you hold half of that bar across here this is just how a bottom on a three minute is put in and they do this and that's that zero one penny to 49 penny type ratios that's where you bounce you come back this is where you descend and you get made again in the same way going up as you did in the 369 here this is a 36912 uh, reversal right here to the teeny line that through this three right here is the 15 it pops down to that bottom line I'm sorry it pops down to the bottom line okay and then that's how the moves start on that opening bell on a left elbow gap down on a three minute left elbow price action movement when they slide that bid right here look at where they slid the bid it gives you the number and when they slide it and they can't close above it they slide it on heavier 15 and three minute volume though but look at the and these price actions over here start to increase that 0 0.32 right here v01 if that's to a downside bar that means a move is weak and it's a short and that's all you have to know right there mmt you've been given a gift 